expression of opposite to what she was promoting was what was really important. Kinda, she, had, kinda, she never apologized. Kind of how I felt watching the Super Bowl and because, what's his name? Uh, Manning. Was it Peyton Manning? He was getting the crap beat out of him. <laughs> but the announcers bucking them, they seemed sad that the Seattle Seahawks beat the Broncos at every turn. And it was like, okay, so now the Seahawks can't get the same kind of love. Russell Wilson, the black quarterback, only the second quarterback, uh, third quarter, what, second quarterback to win this, uh, black quarterback to win the Super Bowl, seemed like he didn't really get the love. Seemed like, El, uh, what's the, I call him Elway. Manning was getting more love. I don't know, it's just the media seemingly despises the mainstream media, media seemingly despises black people standing up. Well, that, that why that happened with this call, Stokes Councilman Carl Stokes, in that Monday following that experience with uh, Councilwoman Specter, he stood up and said something about it in City Council. And even though it is full of black representatives, nobody backed him up. Why do we need black representatives who have no spine? Why? Because we put them there, and we let them worship. We let them stay there. They got to go. I say vote them out. W what are you here for today? You have a specific problem you wanted to well, highlight. Well, that is my problem. I have tried in these past three months every way I can. Uh, let me just say this. Okay. Baltimore, we're talking with Dr. Helena Hicks, living history. She led the first sit-in in the country. She's live in the studio streaming on WOLBBaltimore.com. I have been trying to get the city, this city, this county, the whole state, the whole nation to understand that you cannot have subtle racism. Well, and sometimes it's blatant. When you allow a white woman, a Jewish woman, to stand up and to make those kind of statements and to further enforce them by saying to our a black male city council person. Carl Stokes. Carl Stokes. What's she you know, tell him? How's the peanut gallery? That's what she said to him. That's what she said that Monday following. And when he makes a complaint to his uh, colleagues, his, your colleagues, and they don't stand up and say, we support you. He wanted to introduce a resolution, which we all took part in, to sanction her. It went nowhere. And she didn't show up. It were all kinds of reasons. She should have been sanctioned. She should have been put out because she's a racist. She says she's not a racist. Fine. Then if you're not a racist, don't use racial slurs. You can't have it both ways. That's kind of like the football player from the Seahawks. A lot of people felt by the mainstream media referring to him as a thug. That was the same as calling him the N-word. That's right. And that's what happens. You know, the peanut gallery, what are you talking about? You Reducing us to that low, low level? Well, she's from Locust Point. I could call that to her from the peanut gallery, too. Lord knows I didn't draw, grow up in that kind of environment, and I'm not white. Have you ever told people that you do not have slavery in your history? I have tried to tell them they don't want to listen because they don't believe it because they all they know is what the media has pumped out about slavery. I just finished talking to, before you came in, one of your colleagues here, here who is a distant relative of mine. I was telling him about that, and he's done some research. He can't find any either. <laughs> It doesn't exist. You know, I went all the way back so to what's England, the all the way back to passenger records. It's not there. I'm not the only one. I'm just one of the few African Americans who's bothered to find that out. There are a lot of us out there. When you find out, let me change the tape.